What's up, allies? So we got a new update to Emery Crate. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing all that this update brings. It just shows that Asus is listening. There's a lot of awesome features here. This has been requested by the users. So it's pretty cool to see them taking that into consideration. So let's break down what this update brings. So first is the hold to repeat. So let's just showcase what that looks like. So if you go to Boulder's Gate and if you go to key map in here, if you click the right bumper here and go to settings, you can actually hold to repeat like you seen right there. So that's how you access that. It's pretty cool to see them bring that here now. Next is a new campaign, where's my ally? So to get to that, you just go to content, click here, and this is the new campaign here. So again, if you guys were interested, this is how you find it. So next is the remove function button, key mapping. So to access that, pick a game, Again, here's key mapping. We're going to click key mapping. We're going to pick something here. And then as you can see, bottom right here, remove function. That's how you access that. Now, this is one that a lot of people have been asking for. And it's pretty cool to see them bring this. So you have now your Wi-Fi indicator there, your battery life percentage and your time. So now you have quick access to that instead of having to exit out your game to see that. So that's pretty neat. So these new tutorials, if you go to the help center here, you should be able to see some new tutorials. So again, check out these videos if that's something you guys were interested in. So we showcased the way to access the VRAM in the BIOS, but now you can do it through Amory Crate. So to do that, just go to operate mode and go here. So you'll see now you have access to five gigs, six and seven that wasn't here before. So it's pretty cool to see that. So this is one that I really like when it comes to end task, it gives you a notification to confirm that you really want to end task. And I feel like this has been working better. Normally when I hit end task with some games, it doesn't end it. But now with this, it definitely has been doing a better job ending those games. So one of my biggest gripe with Amory Crate, I've mentioned this before, is when you delete a game, sometimes it still shows up here in Amory Crate, but it looks like they fixed that now to where when you delete a game, it stays off this list. So I think that's also pretty cool. And I would say lastly, one of the biggest update is that Dead Zones has officially been fixed. As you can see here, I've done a video showcasing how uh, to fix dead zones. And you guys saw when I used to click this, it wouldn't go all the way down with my triggers. But as you can see here, it hits now. And I've tested this with games like Ratchet and Clank as well, which was a game that gave me issues. And I do have to say, I don't have to customize the triggers anymore. This just works. So again, this update did bring fixes to the dead zone issue. So that's pretty cool to see. So lastly, through my ACES, they also added new features, the hold to repeat for the A, B, X, Y. We also have some UX improvement and some bug fixes, which I'll put right here if you guys were interested. But yeah, I think this is a significant update. I'm loving it. And again, it just shows that ACES is listening to its consumers. Keep up the good work. And I hope we see more changes and improvement to Amory Crate. All right, fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.